I had to get creative. There's a McDonald's like, drive through right where I need to stand to take the picture. shadow. I don't think that's going to come out. <laughs> Welcome back to the segment where I read comments. Yes, on the previous video, which just so happens to be on the Insects Mini 90. <laughs> Probably one of the few times where the questions are gonna be about basically the video you just watched, almost. I got a lot of comments in that video, so I want to address them right now. Manis asks two questions, actually. First one is, better than Evo? And honestly, a lot of you ask this question, not just one of you. And I gotta say, it, yes and no, they're both two different entities, two different types of cameras. One's a digital camera and one is a regular and some might say real film camera. I don't like saying that though. I personally love the Evo. It's great, it's perfect for beginners. It's a digital camera though. Um, so is it better than this one? Maybe, because you don't have to really think about shooting instant photography with it. Just point it at anything you want and you'll get a good picture. Because <laughs> it's not using the lens to the film stock itself, it's digitally printing it on the photo. For lack of a better explanation, that's what it's doing. So it's tough to say if like one's better than the other. It really just comes down to your preference and your style of shooting. So I can't really give an answer on that. Other than I guess, the Evo would be easier to shoot with, but it'll give you kind of a digital look, not a film look. And the second question was, any thoughts on My Name Is Real ending? Um, well, obviously I'm a big My Name Is Real fan in the intro to my video is very My Name Is Earl-esque. Uh, other than it just being sad uh, that it ended on a cliffhanger and just very disappointed. Not really uh, much more I can say to that other than I'm glad they were able to wrap up some of the cool stories like Crabman's backstory and his witness protection stuff. That was pretty cool. At least we got to see that. Uh, but definitely would have loved to see how the show properly ended. Vlad asks, would an Instax SLR square camera be the perfect instant camera? Is there such a thing? Well, there's no such thing as the perfect instant camera, unfortunately. I know a lot, I may contradict a lot of my video titles, <laughs> the best instant camera. Searchability, 
that's how YouTube works. But there really is no such thing as the best thing or a perfect camera, it's just come down to your preference and what best fits your needs. And so yes, there is a SLR camera out there for Square, it's through Non's camera. Um, they're pretty expensive, I've never used it. There's also a instant photo back for Square that works on like Mamiya cameras or Hasselblad cameras, things like that. That's a good option if you're into that. Uh, you definitely will have to be paying up for something like that, so that's... Uh, I guess your preference. Black Queen Photo. I'm curious how this will compare to the Instax Mini 99. Yes, uh, a lot of you asked this question. I haven't used the uh, uh, the new one. I'll definitely be getting it at some point and trying it, but it seems like a gimmicky upgraded camera from the Mini 90. It has some light leak effects, which is fun, I guess. Uh, not really my thing. Other than that, it's basically the same camera with a slight redesign. But if you already have an Insects Mini 90, I don't know if it's worth upgrading, but then again, I haven't used the 99, so stay tuned. 57 Stratman says, why did you read my comment, LOL? Well, there you go, I'm reading your comment now. The Voiceman 6192 says, I have one, love it. Which setting is party mode? Uh, so the party mode is the very first setting when you go to modes. It looks like two people. Uh, that's party mode, and definitely try it. It's awesome. Jakku, I something, some eight, nine, three, one says, well, considering the Mini 99 today's launch, this isn't the best one anymore. I think that's the wrong way of saying it. No one knows. Just because it's something that just came out, that doesn't mean it's actually any good. Uh, it's a little too early to tell. And from what I've seen, there's just a couple little extra things with it. Does it make it better? Time will tell. If you want to have one of your comments answered or commented on in the next video be sure to leave some comments down below i'm gonna continue this little segment y'all seem to really enjoy the last one so i'm gonna keep this going and if you want to see the full review remember check the link in the description below so you can see the full breakdown of the camera that's all i got for you in today's video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one now get out there make some more